Shalom and welcome to my moment of Torah on this Shabbat Para, when we read Parshat Kitisa and also the Maftir reading of the Para Aduma, the Red Heifer. Now, as a pulpit rabbi, it's my job to take our ancient sacred texts like the Torah and make them relevant for who we are and how we live today. Sometimes it feels like a stretch, but as has been said, turn it and turn it for everything is in it. And that comes from the Avot de Rabbi Natan. Now, coronavirus, which is what we're all dealing with, is not in the Torah as far as I know, but the fear of the unknown and the disastrous consequences it can have certainly are. In this week's Torah reading, which is Kitisa, Moses has ascended Mount Sinai to receive the Torah from God. And after he'd been up there quite a while, the people became concerned. And the text reads, Exodus 32, verse 1. When the people saw that Moses was so long in coming down from the mountain, the people gathered against Aaron and said to him, Come, make us a God who shall go before us. For that man Moses, who brought us out of Egypt... We do not know what has happened to him. In order, I think, to prevent a possible mutiny and maybe save his skin, Aaron complied with the people's request, and he told them, take the gold rings out of your wives' ears and to bring them to him. He fashioned the eagle hazahav, the golden calf, and told the people that the next day would be one of worship and rejoicing. Now, there's no question in my mind that people were truly concerned about Moses, but they were concerned even more about themselves. After all, who would lead them? What would happen to them? Who would talk to God for them? Who would let them know what the Divine One expected from them? The worldwide outbreak of COVID-19, a coronavirus, has engendered similar fears and fear of the unknown is more likely trumping the fear of illness and death. There's so much we don't know about the virus, and we see a lot of conflicting information. Preserving health and life, pekuach nefesh, is one of the highest Jewish ideals and a commandment which supersedes all commandments except murder, idolatry, and improper sexual relationships, and that does not mean mixed dancing. But for many of us who have been confined to our homes for longer than they might like, the panicking isn't going to make us any safer. And if you've seen the pictures, store shelves look like they do when we're expecting snow. Now I'm doing my best to stay safe, washing my hands while singing a couple of verses of Simmin Tov and Mazel Tov and Mazel Tov and Simmin Tov trying to keep a little more distance from others and watching reliable sources for information. Now, when the Israelites asked for a God to worship, Adonai, our God, realized that perhaps these people, barely out of slavery in an idol-worshipping society, weren't ready for a transcendent God and forgave them. It allowed us to move on and helped God learn how to be God. I believe this pandemic will help to bring some positives into our lives. It will require us to call upon our inner resources to be creative, to help others, to slow down our fast-paced lives, and to think about the things that matter. May those who have been affected have a speedy and complete recovery. May those who are quarantined find ways to keep busy and stay sane. And may those who care for all who are in need be strengthened and healed. Shabbat Shalom.